Dear Bloomers and friends, Rev Kev coming to you from the Bloom office. We're coming uh, on the close of August and uh, we are looking forward to uh, the new season starting up uh, over the next several weeks and a couple of months and it is exciting to know that this is an opportunity for us as a church to continue to experience our vitality as a uh, beloved community and to continue to grow. You know, almost every Sunday this summer, we have been anywhere from 10 to 20 uh, persons more on Sunday morning than any previous summer Sunday. Um, it has been remarkable to have uh, Sundays where there have been 70 plus, even 80 plus of us gathered on Sunday morning together uh, for the worship of God and uh, the care and nurture of, of one another. And so that's been very exciting to see how Bloom has experienced some growth and one of the ways that we know that we're experiencing that is by that sort of turnout. We also know that there's vitality and love in the times we share together. The Hot August Night uh, fundraiser uh, on uh, August 18th was a, a wonderful evening. Um, and, and part of also what's so wonderful about it is how uh, uh, singers from the community want to participate and support Bloom in this way by providing our entertainment. Um, Ken and David uh, and, and their helpers volunteer to uh, do all of the work for the, for the uh, serving and, and uh, uh, creating and then our own crews serve the food and so forth to provide a very um, exciting and you know wonderful hot August night. And what was so great about this one is it was the coolest hot August night of uh, any that we've had so far, uh, this being the fifth one. And so it was, it was just a really delightful experience. And we're thankful to Jean Dunham for her leadership on that and everybody else who helped out. But I just want to get back to the fact that as we go into the season and as we are heading into uh, the future together, we're figuring out ways to continue to share the story of Bloom as well as God's love when people are with us. And sharing the story of Bloom has been through the development of this new brochure, which uh, Russ, our faithful producer, tells us that I have talked about in previous uh, uh, Bloom tubes. Uh, but right behind me is this big poster, and uh, that is going to is a brainstorm based upon this brochure that poster uh, is going to be put up on the wall for the next year at Rick's Cafe on the north side of Palm Springs. Um, that's a place where almost everybody goes and it just seems like it would be good for us to have this uh, presence in the community and we were grateful that Rick said sure bring it on and he um, uh, was very welcome to do that because Rick has known Mike and me from our very first breakfast in Palm Springs when we arrived here in 2002. That's Rick's Cafe is the first place we had breakfast and we've been going there um, ever since and, and known him ever since. So this poster is going to be on the wall. There are going to be cards there for people to uh, pick up and take and that's another way we have ex um, exposure in the community. And one other innovative way that's coming up we have just inked a deal as they say in Hollywood to be the sponsor of one of the Friday night showings of one of the films in the cinema diverse gay and lesbian film festival here in Palm Springs. This is something that we looked into last year, something that we put in the budget for this year and we just were able to make the selection and we're going to have the sponsorship of a film. You're going to learn more about this in upcoming Bloom Notes. Um, and that's another way that we're going to be reaching out into the community in order to share God's love, share our story, and try to uh, continue to develop our congregation to be a uh, missional, beloved community uh, in Palm Springs, a place where people want to be part of a um, uh, mainline liberal Protestant church such as Bloom is. Um, that's part of our plans and you know you're part of those plans as well. So we hope you'll be with us whenever you can and uh, we hope you can be with us on this Sunday uh, for worship 
If you can't be with us in body, please be with us in spirit. And as always, please keep us in your prayers.